Hello and welcome back to another Blackpink update video. Today I will be covering a lot of things including the second single releases date, spoilers and more predictions for the mystery artist as well as other updates like the new 24365 with Blackpink episode and their anniversary. If you want to watch a certain topic I have split up the bar next to the play button below with different sections so I hope that helps. Anyway let's go ahead and start with the second single. On the 4th of August YG released a new poster for Blackpink's second pre-release single and it included the release date. Mark your calendars for Friday the 28th of August. It may seem like a long time but it will pass super quickly and I am super excited. The date was really the only thing to take away from the poster especially as the photos are older pictures from Blackpink's 2020 welcoming collection. But I wanted to note how it gives off retro vibes and how the concept seem to be leaning towards something of a pink concept rather than black. If you don't know what that means basically Blackpink have two labels for their concepts one being black for girl crush like kill this love, D4, boom bear, how you like that and another label called pink, hence Blackpink. This label contains cuter and more summery type concepts if that makes sense like as if it's your last and forever young. But these aren't like official labels and there are songs like Stay that don't fit either black nor pink. Anyway the point is that compared to the How You Like That posters the second single ones seem to be a lot more pink and cute. Also the last poster I said gave me cartoonish vibes and I have to say the same about this poster especially the comic strip type panels. I'm excited to find out the concept. A question I have been getting a lot is whether or not the second single will have a music video and I don't have a yes or no answer especially as this is the first time Blackpink have done a comeback this way but I am leaning towards yes. In the past YG has done singles for their other artists like Big Bang and as far as I know most if not every single they have put out includes a music video but the thing is that the single in question is also a collaboration so it leaves me too. Wonder if it's even possible for them to make a music video especially as we have been in lockdown for quite a while. But I do still think it's possible. For example if they can't film normally they can film separately the way BTS did with Nicki Minaj for their idol collaboration. Or they could just not include the mystery artist in the video though I think this is very unlikely especially as it's usually only done for like rap verse features a recent example being Chung has play. So what I am saying is that it is indeed possible for there to be a music video but will there be? And for that I have a new clue. On the day the poster was released one of Blackpink's choreographers Carl Hanagami reposted the poster on his own Instagram story. Could this mean he is involved in that there is going to be choreography for the new single? If there is choreography then there is a big chance there will be a music video as well. And to go along with this Jenny recently posted another picture taken by Lisa with this background which is actually a dance practice room so maybe they are practicing their new choreography and on top of that Jenny said her favorite song too. Dance to is the second single. So there's my answer. I am pretty sure there will be a music video since it is indeed possible and there seems to be choreography for the second single. But the only thing that makes me question my guess is that the two posters that have been released both use old photos. If there is an MVY use old photos instead of new teaser photos. It could be to keep the surprise and we may get new photos soon but it is a little confusing. And speaking of the second single we discussed last video there will be an artist featuring on Blackpink single and as of this poster release it is still a mystery. However Blinks still have been guessing and our two top candidates are Ariana Grande and Selena Gomez. Two very well known queens of pop. Here are some of the biggest clues we discussed before just for a refresh. 1. Ariana Grande liked Jenny's repost of the first poster that announced that the single would be a feature and it should be noted Ariana Grande doesn't follow Jenny nor like her posts usually second. One of Ariana Grande's producers went to Seoul South Korea and actually worked with Blackpink to make new music which is interesting as Blackpink's music is usually produced by Teddy Third. Jenny and Jazu have been posting comments and captions that seem to reference Ariana's hit song No Tears Left to Cry and her butterfly tattoos. And today I'll be sharing some more captions. On to the clues for Selena Gomez. 1. YG actually responded to the rumors by saying please wait for the official announcement which if you remember is very similar to what they said when the Lady Gaga and Blackpink collaboration was first rumor too. Selena included Blackpink on her Spotify playlist as well as another song Past Life which she later collaborated on 3. Blackpink, Selena, 
and even Lady Gaga are under the same American label. Interscope records. And now let's talk about the newest clues we have gotten this past week. YG actually followed SB Projects on Twitter recently which is interesting because not only is Ariana Grande under SB Projects, a care Scooter Braun, but YG usually only follows their own artists and other accounts under YG also Scooter Braun has been liking posts about Eric Pink along with Tommy Brown, the producer that worked with Blackpink. Another clue is that we have seen a lot more Instagram captions that seems to be spoilers, which as we know Instagram is where we get the most spoilers. And our two main spoiler queens are Jenny and Jazu. The two have recently been posting a suspicious amount of captions relating to rain. For example the rain, umbrella, and cloud images and more recently captions like stop raining now, stop the rain somebody, and stop it rain all by Jenny alone. Jazu even posted a picture with an umbrella from their 2019 welcoming collection captioned rain rain and rain. Maybe this is some kind of reference to one of Ariana Grande's latest songs with Lady Gaga called Rain On Me, or maybe it's a spoiler to the second single. I am not sure which it is but I am sure it's some kind of clue. Another clue for Ariana Grande may be from Blackpink's virtual How You Like That fan sign where a blink asked about Ariana Grande and we received these reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Basically Jenny kept asking who, which is obviously a joke because she knows very well who Ariana Grande is, and Lisa just made strange cat noises. For me it's super suspicious and I have to say they are bad liars if we do end up getting Arapink. And our last two clues are for Selena Gomez. For the first one I am not 100% sure this is real nor reliable but basically lots of Selena fans have said that this user predicted the entire Rare era and other things for Selena Gomez and he recently posted that Selena is the one Blackpink are going to be featuring. As you can see this is super vague but a lot of Selenators believe him so I thought it would be worth sharing. And the second clue has to do with a recent Instagram post Selena Gomez posted featuring ice cream. Which if you remember Blackpink posted a bunch about on National Ice Cream Day. Blinks thought it was interesting that she would also post about ice cream and further into that Blinks have been pointing out that she put a pink one next to a brown one and it kind of looks like it might be a sign for Blackpink. Again super vague but I wanted to share. As you can see it seems that with all the different clues we don't have a certain answer and there is still a chance it isn't either Ariana Grande or Selena Gomez but I am sure we will be finding out soon through an official announcement by YG Entertainment. And now let's go through a speed round of other updates. First up Blackpink just hit 400 million views on how you like that breaking the record for the fastest K-pop group to do so. Previously held by Kill This Love in 63 days and now how you like that with only 42 days. Congrats Blinks. And though I am not one to care about numbers much Kill This Love is only about half a million away from 1 billion views and Boom Bear is almost there too so maybe join a streaming party for fun since we are super close and next up as many of, you know Blackpink and Blinks alike celebrated Blackpink's 4th debut anniversary on the 8th of August. Before we talk about it here is a short video I made in honor of the anniversary. Blackpink is the revolution. For Blackpink's 4th anniversary we got a special 24 365 with Blackpink episode where they celebrated and invited a magician who did super cool magic tricks. 
Jazu approved. And we also got a special anniversary video in which we got interviews from the girls, a silly photo shoot, and a frozen themed how you like that dance practice that we saw them film in the 24365 with Blackpink episode. On top of that we also got unseen debut photo teasers and of course the 400 million view achievement. Unfortunately this is the first year without a live but it's alright because we have been getting plenty of content from Blackpink. And now let's move on to solo activities. Lisa recently became the spokesperson for Vivo S7 while Jenny is super booked with promoting the Galaxy Note 20, a new campaign with Hera, and a magazine cover with Elle coming soon. Going back to Jesus' variety show appearance last week, it was super successful and everything sold out. Good job Jesu. Unfortunately we don't have anything new for Rose quite yet but we can still admire her Saint Laurent campaign and magazine cover with Elle. And my very last and very random update is that did you know one of Jenny's Chinese fan sites sent pictures of Jenny to outer space? How cool. Anyway that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed and the comment shout out goes to Teehee. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.